Hi everyone, Karen in here from the Cut at Home Design Team. Today I'm going to share with you some of my tips for getting rid of the paper scraps that we all seem to accumulate. Um, I hate to throw away paper, I'm sure many of you do as well, and so I wanted to share with you some tips. My first tip, um, I got these from Amazon. They are 13 by 15 Ziploc bags, um, and I keep my collections together. So my good paper, you know, the big 12 by 12 pieces are in there with scraps of paper. Um, and when you have a collection like that, it really helps to use up the scraps because everything matches in that set. Um, the next thing that I do is I tend to make cards with die cuts. Um, I like circles a lot. Um, so these cards that I'm making today are all made with uh, just scraps of paper and so on this one from the classic sunflower collection heartfelt creations I cut a bunch of circles and I'm going to randomly place them on a card front that was also a scrap oops sorry about that um, this piece of blue here I didn't have a whole circle um, so I went ahead and cut what I had and then I'm just going to sort of that one I can put down at the bottom of the card. And then I'm gonna sort of place the other circles randomly on the card, like so. So you can do this with circles or squares or rectangles or, or really any of the shapes that dies come in. Um, and it's just a good way to use up those smaller pieces of scraps because of course when you're die cutting on a big shot um, you can see exactly what you're cutting out. This little teeny one here. And I'll do like so. And then this was also a scrap. Um, I'm just going to run it across the middle. This is all from the Heartfelt Creations Classic Sunflower Collection. I love that collection. It's just so pretty. Okay, if I can get that lined up. Something like that. And then I thought I'd add some twine to it. So when I do that, add some adhesive to the back side. And where's my twine? Here's my twine. This is Timeless Twine in Natural White. stick in the adhesive did it there we go add some more adhesive to the back make sure that twine's nice and stuck on there and then I cut a card base with craft cardstock like so and it just makes a fun pattern with just a little bit of scraps of paper I cut a couple of sunflowers using the classic sunflower stamps and dies um, and I will add them onto the card like that at this somewhere along here with a bow and a very fun way to use up some scraps. Um, I made another card that shows many of my other tips for using up scraps um, and so this adorable image is from a new company it's called Oak Tree Stamps. I colored her up with Copic markers um, and then um, so one of my tips is to pair your scraps with a colored image and so then you don't need a whole lot of paper um, you can layer it up in different ways um, I cut the borders from a scrap and I only had about that much and so I cut both of the borders and then just cut it down the middle and adhered it on the back of that gold paper um, die cut shapes like this fun Sizzix banner um, is a good way to use up some of those scraps. I stamped the little onesie onto a little teeny piece of green paper that I had 
and then I paper pieced the star from a white piece of uh, paper that I had. This is all again from the Classic Sunflower Collection. Um, flowers, of course, from my other card, that's a good way to use up some of them scraps. I also use scraps, like I have this little teeny piece. I keep one of these on my desk at all times, and you can see where I smooch some gold stickles on there, kind of as a tester, um, just to make sure that I'm not going to get a big blob of stickles on my project like that. Um, and then my final tip for the day is to throw it away. Okay, that's a joke. I don't throw anything away, but um, if you really have a, a scrap that you don't like, um, throw it away. Why keep it, right? For more information on the products that I use for today's card and for a complete list of my tips and tricks for using of scraps, be sure to check out the Cut at Home blog at www.cutathome.com slash blog and stay crafty.